right, hello everybody, welcome to this channel. Uh, as you can see, I've got some colors out here on the table. Uh, I was going to do a video about acrylic pouring, but then I realized that I wanted to do another video first. This video is actually going to be about how to mix paint. Because one thing that I realized is when I was first starting out in acrylic pouring was that there wasn't a lot of information on exactly how uh, to mix paint the uh, best way for beginners. And, you know, everybody has their preference, of course, um, but I didn't get enough information, I don't think, when I first started, so I ended up making a lot of mistakes through trial and error. And I'm hoping that by putting this video out here, we can make a difference and get more people into uh, doing these acrylic pours and getting this uh, uh, out there for everybody. So, all right, um, today we are going to be using uh, Master's Touch acrylic, uh, liquid acrylic. This is in yellow okra. Uh, I'm using this because it's not one of my favorite colors. So uh, I'm gonna add it to my paint that I have here already for the other pour. But I'm gonna be putting a little bit of paint in my container. Now, that is not ready to pour yet. Um, we have to add stuff to it to get our right consistency, and that's what this entire process is going to be. All right, now we have to add a pouring medium to it. Now, the medium um, is basically, it thins out your paint in order to uh, get it to your right consistency that you need, and there's a lot of different ones that are out there. On my professional paintings, and my customers' paintings, anything that I want to put out there, I will use the Liquitex Professional Acrylic Mediums Pouring Medium. Uh, this one is in gloss, and this is a little bit pricey, so if you're just going to be doing some painting for yourself, maybe just to get the hang of it and things like that, I'd recommend using the Elmer's School Glue or the Elmer's Glue All. Uh, and that is going to be a mixture of 70% glue, or excuse me, 60% glue to 40% water. Now I use filtered water, uh, that is my personal preference. Um, but that is only going to either one of these this one's going to give you a more of a gloss shine to it but this is going to give you a matte finish it's not going to be shiny when it's dry so if you want it to be shiny later on you will have to use a gloss varnish this one is master's touch um, this is one that i prefer to use just because it is uh, readily available at my hobby lobby thank you hobby lobby uh, not in any way affiliated with them of course other than being a customer. Okay, now, my favorite uh, way to stir my paint is um, I get these professional stir sticks. They give them out in two packs at your local Chinese food restaurant. <laughs> these things work great for me, and I tell you what, I've used other, I've used the popsicle sticks and everything, and then you gotta like twist your hand to get to different angles or whatever. Because these are perfectly round, they roll in your fingers just like that. They work really good to get all around the edges. Okay. So this right here, this is going to be my 60-40 Elmer's glue and water, okay? And I'm going to add about 50 to 50 ratio between my paint and my pouring medium. So I put that in there, okay. Now myself, oops, may mess. Myself, I like to eyeball uh, all of my stuff because I want to have a feel for what I'm doing, a feel for what is going in my cup, what is going into my painting. To me, it feels like more of myself going into this rather than following a, a specific recipe where uh, somebody else has made and then I'm using their way. I like to do it this way. So, I'm going to get these mixed up right here. And of course, that is still really, really thick. We're going to add our filtered water and we're going to do it slowly because you can always add more water. But if you add too much water and it becomes too liquidy, then you have to add more paint. And if you didn't need that much paint, then you're wasting. So we try not to do that. We'll add a little bit of water and stir, stir, stir. Stir, get around all around the edges real good. Make sure that you get the bottom real good so there's all that paint gets mixed up. Now your consistency, what you're looking for is on the flat surface of the paint that's in the cup. When you pick your chopstick or your whatever stir stick that you're using and the paint rolls off of your utensil here and falls back onto that flat surface, you want it to create a little tiny bit of a mound and then immediately dissipate into the puddle. That's the consistency we're looking for. Now, a lot of people will tell you this in their videos. This is where it stops. They're like, this is how you do it. 
bam, bam, bam. Okay, well, so through trial and error, I have found that we have a thing that is called uh, paint boogers. And these paint boogers, it might be dry paint, it might be uh, a little piece of uh, glue that wasn't mixed up properly, it could be anything. But I have used this little strainer that I picked up at the dollar store, and this thing right here will take out most of all of your boogers out of your paint. So what I do is I get these cups right here at Sam's Club, and 16 ounce clear cups, 132 of them for like four bucks. I mean, so if I waste a cup and don't use it, I'm not heartbroken. All right, finish mixing that up. We get that good consistency through there. Put your strainer over your new cup, make sure it's a nice clean cup, and then pour your paint in. None of my paint will ever touch a canvas until it has been properly strained. And that is the one thing that I have fought with throughout my painting uh, career as I started was trying to get these pouring mediums without any boogers in them. I mean, I mixed and mixed and mixed and mixed and I just couldn't, couldn't get it right until I started straining. And if you look real closely, you can see there's air bubbles in there, but there's also little chips of dried paint. Now, I'm not the cleanest, I guess, but when you open, you see that dried paint that's there? Yeah, I should probably clear that off, but that's one of the reasons why I always sift through my paint to get everything out of it so that whatever's going on my canvas is 100% clean paint. And there you have it. Nice clean paint. And you can use this to pour directly onto your uh, in canvas or, or mix with your other colors and create different designs, but that's uh, another video. All right, thank you for watching, and you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.